What's up you guys, it's Techie Chris back here with another video. So today um, my plan is to give you guys an update of where my home lab stands and kind of where I'm going with it. If you saw my previous videos, you would see that I got a couple pieces of equipment, um, a couple routers, a couple switches, and I've been planning to upgrade my home lab from where it currently is. So currently right now my home lab consists of one enterprise um, router and a couple of access points. but I have some new switches and a brand new router which I'm going to replace my old router with right now. Let me take you guys out there. Right, so my current router that I'm using for this setup right here is this Cisco 4431 right here. As you guys can hear, it is very loud and makes a lot of noise. So we're going to switch this router out with a different router, with an ISR 1100 series router. Right now this router, it's, it's a nice router, it works fine and all that, but it takes up a lot of power. It's loud, it takes up a lot of power, so I plan to use this router just for my labbing purposes and things of that nature. So I'm going to switch this out with a brand new, well not brand new, but I'm going to switch this out with a smaller, more convenient home Soho kind of setup router. So I'm going to show you that in a little bit. Um, as you see back there, I have my access point that I'm using. That's one of my access points that I'm using. The other one is inside of my room. But yeah, this router is about to be switched out for the other router. Okay, so we're back in my room. Um, so right now, as you can see, I have actually... I'm actually about to start getting this new router right here configured. So I just got this powered on and configured. As you can see, it barely makes any noise. It makes no noise compared to the one that's outside. That makes a lot of noise and takes up a lot of power. So that's actually about, the one outside is gonna become, the one outside is gonna be used for labbing purposes. So right here you see I'm on the console of this router. I'm about to get this bad boy configured up and I'm gonna keep you guys updated with the process. Um, here's the other access point that I have here. If you saw the other video, you've already seen this, but this is my other access point that's connected right here. And then, what I'm planning to do with the routers. So right here in my room where my TVs are, I have my two switches. So what I'm planning to do is also add that router right here and connect these bad boys up. Use one router and these two switches and put some leak aggregation between these things and then probably use some router on the stick, configure some VLANs on it. But just, you know, needless to say, this is going to be my this is going to be my labbing setup right here. This is what I'm going to use for labbing. The other small ISR router is going to be used for, for my home setup. Yeah, so the ISR router is going to be used for my home setup because right now the 4431 is being used for my home setup, but it consumes a lot of power and it's, it's, it's really loud. So yeah, I'm going to get this bad boy configured, going to swap them out and yeah, let's see you guys in a little bit. So we are back with it. I have pretty much configured this new router to almost the exact same configuration as the old one, despite the interface, like the name of the interfaces and everything. So um, I ran into a little issue. I was not able to manually create IP addresses for each specific interface on this router. I had to actually go in and create SVIs for each interface and then gave them IP addresses that way, which took a little bit of time for me to figure out because I didn't even realize I couldn't assign IP addresses to this router's interfaces the normal way. But I, able, I was able to figure it out. So what I'm gonna do now is show you guys me replacing this router. So let's do it. So now I am back out here. Um, I have labeled, you know, my WAN link. I don't know if you can see that. Label my WAN link, label the data link. I label my access point link. So I got my three connections on here labeled. So what I'm about to do is just do a swap and replace, drop the new router in here, and we'll go from there.
All right, guys, so for now, I have got this bad boy right here looking good. Um, connected to the internet, my access point is working. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and do a couple more checks on. My access point is working. My um, All my connections are pretty much working. I'm connected to the internet. My WAN connection is working. Um, pretty much what I'm gonna do now is just comfort just make sure a couple of other things are working and looking okay with it but for now um, I feel like everything is working pretty well with it right now um, it's not as loud as it used to be the sound you hear is my washing machine but yeah I mean we have we have did this I showed you guys how I swapped it but anyways <laughs> 